Good day everybody, it's Corey again here from South Africa with PHP Runner Tips and Tricks. Um, this video is a follow up on uh, the previous video that I've made where I showed you where tables can be shown on, um, on the dashboard, especially when those tables has a relationship with each other and how nicely PHP Runner make it possible for us to just put it all in one nice dashboard and if you click on one record it will filter through because of the relationship it has however in that example we ran into an issue where there were too many columns on the screen and um, they all didn't fit and we followed the approach of trying and hiding some columns although the columns disappeared when we hide them the actual space of the column stayed intact the way it was and uh, so it didn't reduce the actual width of the screen and things still didn't fit in into the screen today i'm going to show you what i've done to solve that problem and it has kind of like happened accidentally and um, i'll show you why so before i continue i need to uh, please just tell you guys i'm using php runner 9.8 and also version 10 which is the latest version please visit uh, xlinesoft.com and obtain a copy over there if you don't, haven't done so yet that being said let's uh, start right away i want to show you the results mm -hmm. first this is what it now looks like it's exactly the same data set from before this time i just have it all fit nicely on one screen with a fixed width and all of those columns actually are there I have it now in different tabs on the top here for each and every one over here you can see you can click wherever you want to and it's now exactly what the customer wanted screen and this is now just the result of how I've made this a little bit better and it looks better and it works better and it's more user friendly okay so what I've done to do this First of all, I must explain you a little bit of this application. There is the option with this date range button on top of here where you can say, I want to see a different result, which means if you click on this date range, it brings you like a pop up of, uh, of, of three dates that you have to click on. Now, not to go into too much detail about this works, but what it does here depending on what you select over here in terms of dates you will see different results in the dashboard so when you click on this set date buttons it will then go and do the calculation in the background and uh, pop up the new results now this happens on the fly and it's user related what i mean by that is user one can put different dates there from user 2, from user 3, user 4 and so forth. Different results for different users will display over there. Now that was just the way I've set it up in the database. This data for each and every user gets stored in the same table with just a flag. Uh, more info on that, just ask me, I'll show you how I've set up the database. But this video is more for to show you how to do it in PHP Runner to fit in the screen with those tabs, how do I get those, to those tabs. Now the reason why I showed you the date range is I want to now quickly take you to the actual database. For each and every user that signs on here, I have a user session in the column over there. And then the from date, the to date and the result date. And per user, I just store this information. The, the main reason for this was I bring up his previous search. So that was the idea behind this. Now, this is what I meant earlier when I said accidentally, I use this to create those, those tabs. So the solution you, I'm going to show you now was done in version uh, 10. However, this is very much possible in 9.8 as well. So to go to PHP Runner, I'll show you quickly there. That's what things are looking like now. So you will see I have these tables here, Ben, the date range, there's a date range there, there's a date range there, there's a date range there. It's exactly the same table. It's just a view of that table. So 
technically all four of those tables contain the same record or the same data. Then for each and every section, the level one, two, and three, um, I created four different other views from the same table as well. Those four tables were split out and the columns that the customer asked for that specific tab is, is just set up in here. Now I want to show you uh, what the, the raw data table actually looks like. So I have another column over here called user session and that's exactly the same session uh, which I am using in the first table with the dates. So I can now set up a one-to-many relationship between this table to my second table to filter out only for that user. That's how I manage in this way I can bring up only records for the user that's currently signed on. Back to the application. Each and every one, every one of these one-to-many relationships is pretty straightforward set up on of that master record and I just click that view um, display details data on pages and I just tick the view over there each and every one of these relationships is set up like that in the actual in version 10 we have this uh, designer uh, button over here go to the designer tab I just click on the MGR data range over here I go to the view page of that of that record so this is what the view page of that record is going to look like. And here I created the tabs. And within each and every one of these, I can decide which child records I want to show for that detailed record. So here you can see the details is going to be MGR phase one. Now I remember I told you that the customer told me what he wants to see when he click on phase one. Now if I go to the details of that MGR phase one, On the list page of the MGR phase one, which is actually the child table in this case for the main record, I now have the option to see which columns I want to show over here. I've done that with MGR phase two and you will notice that there's different columns uh, coming up on MGR phase two. That's almost it. So if you publish now this thing, it's going to show you everything nicely as it is before. However, there's a, another issue now. If you click on the first uh, record, it doesn't filter through in this case now anymore because the master table obviously is now different. It's that date table. And the relationship between that master table and the next table, master table, is actually the same table. It's just a different view, like I said in the beginning. So now what now? I've created this little buttons in front of each and every row. It's also here. So what will happen now if I click on this button? I click on select on person number two. Let's click select on person number three. Why not? It will actually refresh this page. It shows me in a nice color over there with the background color, which I can show you how I've done that. However, it shows me that person is now selected. In my pay table two, it only filters out that person. And now I have more options to select for all persons that report obviously to this person. So I'm going to select on person number three over here, which is in this case Gerda. Uh, and then you will see that Gada is now selected there under this. So, so it's, it's like try to color code the thing so that they don't get confused. And uh, so now only Gada's data is showing up in the very last table over there. The, so that relationship is working. How did I do that? So let's go to the code of that actual button. So first of all, I added a button in the grid. So it's basically I added the button in the grid so in version 10 your buttons is a little bit confused i actually struggled with this in the beginning so where is the button code so if you go here you will see here that uh there's my cut custom buttons here at the bottom okay and underneath that is all the buttons that you actually created 
So the date range button is the one that we use to pop up and ask for which date you want to see. There's a lot of background code that happens over there. So the button I want to show you is the select button. So the client before, um, over here, I in this case, you can pop up a message, please wait, this can take several minutes or whatever. I'm not doing anything really right here because there is, it's quite fast. So I, I, I just ignore that. I just commented all of that out. So on the server side of things, I used the get current record class already built into the tool. That class was not designed by me. It's, it's coming with the software. You just need to know how to use this class. So I set uh, a variable record, dollar record, which is a variable over there, is the button class of get the current record. And what do I want of the current record? we need the regional manager id because you need to understand the relationship of that as well and all i've done with that id is i put it in a session variable once you put something in a session variable it's available within that session anywhere you actually after it's been set so on each and every one of those views that i created there will now be this list page before SQL query. Now, the, it speaks for itself. I basically just say, if this session is set, in other words, if it was, if the button was clicked, if it's set, um, I call it the AND clause. Uh, it's just a variable I created. I said, is now the re is now that actual session over there else the end clause is empty and then in the string where clause is basically going to look like that every time except for when the button is click that dollar gets appended in, in, as a string uh, to the end of the where clause and whether the button is clicked or not it depends whether this data will actually show us in there or not you click the button that session gets set once the session is set the where clause of the next table knows whether it should filter now or not and that's how i did it thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope this is helping somebody if there's anything that I that I that I missed or unclear or maybe went too fast, please just comment below, and I will try and and and, and explain again. Thank you very much, Excellent Soft, for this amazing application. Uh, you guys are doing an amazing job. Uh, you 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 really create software that's that's worthwhile using. Well done on version 10, guys. Well done on version 10. That's me from South Africa. Over and out.